Sports presents from sunny, warm Orlando, the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl, featuring Tennessee out of the Southeast Conference at 9-2, and, and the co-champs of the Big Ten, the Northwestern Wildcats. A capacity crowd of over 66,000 on hand to witness the Wildcats. A crew from Evanston, Illinois, led by Pat Fitzgerald, the human roadblock, who sets the boundaries. He marks his territory and dares others to cross the line. And Peyton Manning, he knows no boundaries. He's living out his football fantasies with every toss, dreaming of his next assault on the defense. Goins kicking off. Mark Levine at the four. And he's brought down at the 14-yard line. Manning, the first Tennessee quarterback to pass for over 3,000 yards in a single season. He's tall and he's lanky and he sees the field extremely well. Jay Graham, the single back. Four wide receivers out on the set. Little waggle action. Manning on the money on first and ten. Complete for the first down out to the 28-yard line. A look at the backs and receivers. Number 11, his name prominent today. Joey Kent, top-notch receiver. A look at the offensive line. They underwent a lot of changes up front, John. They sure did. Trey Teague was the starting left tackle. He's now the starting center. Robert Poole, who's at left tackle, you see him there, did begin the season at right guard. They've been banged up and moved some people around. They think they have this unit down now. And into pass, his intended receiver falls down at the 39-yard line. There's a look at the first four, and they're a 4-3 set. Matt Rice is the guy who plays on the center. Pat Fitzgerald, of course, defensive player year in the Big Ten, two times running. A secondary, Mark, this secondary is going to be tested today. Gerald Conaway, number 11 there, is getting his first start at corner. He's a redshirt freshman, and Tennessee is going to be going after him early in this game. Northwestern coming on the blitz. Manning eluding the pressure. Decides to take it himself, and Manning is tackled at the 34-yard line. A man on that place was a running play. They want to try and wear out this Wildcat defense. Got to get to the 37-yard line for the first down. Third and three out of the backfield at the flat complete to Graham. He's got room to burn and speed to burn. Knocked out of bounds. Just underway here in the first quarter. Manning two of three so far for 35 yards. Audibling at the line. A four-wide receiver set again. He's got a man in the seam on the post. Touchdown, Volunteers. He's peerless. Price, 43 yards, 6 nothing balls. And he was going against Gerald Conaway. With less than two minutes gone here in the first quarter, the extra point is good. The guys from Tennessee jumping out to a 7 nothing lead early in Orlando. We'll be right back. Jeff Hall getting set to kick off. Back deep, Josh Barnes, number 17, along with number 86, David Beasley. The Volunteers lead seven to nothing. Beasley at the three. Tripped up and brought down at the 18-yard line. First he wasn't starting, now he is. That within the last five or 10 minutes. And Autry gets the test early. And they swarm him back at the 14-yard line. Steve Schnurr completing 61% of his passes this year. He led the Big Ten in pass efficiency. And now, McGrew lines up in the slot. Quick three-step drop, complete to the near side. That's Dwayne Bates out to the 28. Bates, number five, in the middle of your screen. Autry, number 24. Tucson Waterman, also good size, a physical receiver. This is a big offensive line. They outweigh Tennessee by 43 pounds up front. Brown, McGrew, and Autry in the backfield on third and two. Schnurr passing complete, but it is right at the first down marker. It's going to be close. And a look at the defense. Part of the front seven for Tennessee. Coleman, Duff, Buxton, and Brown up front. A lot of changes, as we just talked about. Hines, the leading tackler with 110 this year. And in the secondary, Terry Fair is one of the top corners in the nation. See if LaBelle Brown was stretched far enough to get the first down. He did it, Mark. It's real short. And now the two tights line up on the line. Autry the single back. 
And Schnur keeps it himself for the first down. So a lot of seniors on that Northwestern offensive line, 18 in all on the team, making their last appearance in purple uniform. Darnell Autry stacked up. Bowl games are more often lost than won. Musso in motion to the top of your screen, second and nine, Schnur. Batted at the line and intercepted. That thing bounced off of three players. First turnover of the afternoon. Manning under the snap flags down. Well start. Number 68 on the offense. Five yard penalty. Go first down. National championship implications. Arizona State against Ohio State. And then tomorrow, the Nokia Sugar Bowl from New Orleans at 8 Eastern time. Florida against Florida State, part two. This is Jay Graham plowing his way up the middle. Second down and nine. Come back on the screen to the weak side of the field. Lane had a convoy of blockers and this program right now it used to be Alabama and now it's Florida they have to find a way to beat the Gators and with some impressive stats so far looking to add to that total firing incomplete to first quarterback in Tennessee school history to throw for over 3,000 yards nine minutes to play in the opening frame Manning on the slant complete down to the 10 yard line to Eric Lane once again his They run it, and Manny keeps it himself. He stole that fake so well, everyone bought it. Terrific ball handling by Manning. At five play, 36 yard scoring drive, converting on that interception. Peyton Manning. video room every single day. Jeff Hall kicking off. Drexler, five yards deep, will take a knee. Cutcliffe uh, refusing a few offers to coach other places, staying at Tennessee. Bates complete on the quick pro pass down to the 27. Second down and two for the Wildcats. Tennessee blitz and Schnur puts it on the ground and picks it up. And they will lose in six they've got to make it to the 30 or beyond for the first down darnell autry in the backfield still in the game flag down of the play the inside shuffle pass and Start the snap both start number 72 on the offense five yard penalty <laughs> now they're still naming guys down. yeah third down and 11 for northwestern motion up front but no flags yet schnur into traffic, incomplete to Brian Musso. Standing on his own at seven. And he throws it back to the 29. This is Terry Fair. Well, that looked like a clip there. I'm surprised Tennessee got away with one. And Graham lining up out of the eye. Ball's on the ground. All right. Gene Stallings in his last game at the helm in Alabama. Maitney off the play, play fake. Overthrows his intended receiver. And a late flag thrown back at the 45. Have to hold of the intended receiver. But, I, you know, I don't know if that ball was catchable. And in out of at the line. He gets them into great plays. And he gets them into another one here. Complete at the 48. Tennessee is just a great university to go to if you want to play wide receiver. Manning six of eight. Make that seven of nine. Thank you very much. Out of the backfield, down to the 41 yard line. Jay Graham. So they push the ball back to the 44 yard line. See Northwestern getting Manning to check into an audible by showing one thing. Now they check on defense and do something else. They just get the playoff and a nice play. Jay Graham plowing his way for the first down. Graham was the MVP of the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl a year ago. Here's the play fake. Peyton going downtown. Oh, Incomplete for Peerless Price. A tradition, football tradition in that family. Backs out of the eye. Second and ten. Graham. Yeah. Remembers a kid doing the same thing. And if there was ever a kid predestined for stardom, it was this guy right here throwing the football. Amen, Dean. And he throws a strike down to the 26-yard line on third and eight. 
trying to turn them back on, and we do. Apologize for the technical difficulty. I mean, when you have turnover in the offensive line, you have four people leave the offensive line, three went to the pros, you know, you're just not going to have people step in and do great. On second and eight, the quick slant again. The pattern du jour. Kent lined up to the short side of the field, and that's him. Joey Kent, touchdown. He takes it to the house. Number 11, an 11-yard 11 touchdown strike. And he's working on number 11, and it's a complete mismatch right now. Front of, of experience. You lose a junior and put a freshman in there. Jeff Hall with the extra point. Joey Kent with the touchdown. Tennessee leading. That's right, and he prevailed upon John Chavis, the defensive coordinator, to recruit him and come to Tennessee. He didn't catch many balls in high school. Good catch by Tennessee. Here's Beasley on the return for the Wildcats. Still on his feet, out to the 28-yard line. And we get a look, our first look, at Adrian Autry, the other Autry, number 32 in the backfield. And he gets the carry in. Well, it's the same result. Different name, but the same result. And penetrate this Northwestern offense. Uso in motion on the blitz. Bates, the hot receiver. And they're still doing well. A little movement up front. Try the snap. Contact by the defense, number 47. Five-yard penalty against the defense. Including some officials. Less than a minute to play in the first quarter. Tennessee leading 21-0, coming with a blitz. Schnur under heavy heat. Schnur drilled, brought down at the 33-yard line. Well, the first 15 minutes at the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl is in the books, and they're playing Rocky Top. Tennessee leads 21-0 when we come back. If you are seated in section 106... Not exactly a prosperous New Year so far for them. 21-0. Steve Schnur with the ball, second and 19. Incomplete. It is the other Autry. Adrian in the backfield on third down and 19. Three wide receiver set. And Schnur slips and falls on the turf at the 23-yard line. John standing on his own nine-yard line. One of the top punters in the Big Ten. And you can't tell by that <laughs> kick. He hit our cameraman. He doinked our cameraman. <laughs> when you have more than a couple of losses, it's a disappointing year. That's a bad. On the reverse. This is Dustin Moore at the tight end. Well, he First can run, can he? Yeah. Certainly batting the 1,000 here today. Sure are. Second and seven. They want to pass it and sat back at the 44-yard line. Third down and 17 for the Volunteers. Manning, plenty of time. And he fumbles it, pounces on it. Standing at his own 45. He'll try and pooch this one. He also calls for the fair catch, lets it go over his head and into the end zone. So we have six yards of total offense in this game. Darnell Autry out near the 24-yard line. Second down and six for the Wildcats. Backs out of the eye. It's Darnell Autry again. Flat tackled by Marcel Price, so they, they feel like he's with him in spirit, Dean, throughout this entire season and through when the period he would have graduated. On second and one, Autry stopped up. Alabama losing a great man in Gene Stallings as head coach. Third down and two for Northwestern. Quick three-step drop complete for the first down. That's Dwayne Bates at the 39-yard line. 11 4 to play in the first half. Bates, four catches for 42 yards. Autry. Back up at the line of scrimmage. Brian Musso in motion to the top of your screen. Quick drop complete to Musso at the 43-yard line. They get to the 49 for the first down. Darnell Autry has the first down, and that's the Darnell Autry we're used to seeing, running authoritative. People bounce off of him. And like all good actors, great improvisational skills. Brought down at the 40-yard line that time, though. Adrian Autry in the game. Tennessee blitzing. Bates in the end zone. Interference against the Volunteers. I mean, in addition to the interference, it's offside. So 
Right now, the Wildcats get their choice of which penalty, and they'll obviously take the interference call. Coach champs of the Big Ten. Their first meeting ever against Tennessee. Magoo in motion. Magoo gets the call on the running play, and he falls forward. Magoo in motion. Second and goal. Schnurr. Incomplete to Bates. But again, you can see... Watch Bates go for the football. There, they're bumping into one another. The field judge is behind it, sees the whole thing, and he calls the penalty. Darnell Autry in the backfield. The option. Touchdown, Wildcats. <laughs> Goins in for the extra point, and the score now stands. 21 to 7 with 7.45 to play in the first half. Under the sunny skies of Orlando, we'll be right back. Darnell Autry took it in. They go for the onside kick. They gotta let it go 10 yards. Still loose. And the Wildcats have recovered at their own 41-yard line. And I believe it just did go 10 yards. You yeah, really going for it fourth and one in his own territory and right here. And Darnell Autry in the backfield. The slant, incomplete, intended for Tucson Waterman. <laughs> Second down and 10 after the incompletion. Schnur snapped back at the 31-yard line. They brought the pressure. Third and 19. Schnur has time this time. Wide open and dropped near midfield. Waterman today. This one, not one of his better punts either. It's a good bounce, but it'll come out to about the 28 or 29. A Northwestern player touched it right there. Northwestern changing up their looks defensively. And they run it. They may even lose a yard. Allows Pat Fitzgerald to go around unblocked and make plays and make tackles, and that's what he's so good at doing. Second down and 12. Manning complete over the middle out to the 30-yard line. They've made it third and long, Northwestern has now, for Tennessee. Third and nine. Manning flushed out of the pocket. Flagged down at the 26-yard line. It's against the Volunteers. From watching that, I wouldn't say he necessarily held on that play. Third and Lake Okeechobee to go, and Manning goes down at the eight-yard line. Because they had a soccer play here. Binion with a low line drive punt fielded by Musso at the 43. Brian Musso puts Northwestern. Barnett watching from the sidelines, his team first and 10. Schnurr. Incomplete intended for Musso at the 22 yard line. Tennessee blitzing. Schnurr finds Bates. Run out of bounds to the 25, about five yards short of the... Thanks a lot, Dean. He held our attention well during our meetings. Third and three. Musso complete near the marker, and he'll have the first down. He does little things to try to keep the interest of his players week in and week out. And he says you grow only from stress. They're putting some stress on the defense, but it's incomplete intended for Bates. They're nine of 16. Tennessee coming with pressure. Musso, and Musso will take it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, what, what a move. Boy, he stopped on a dime and didn't leave Tennessee any change. The extra point, low snap, they get it down, and we told you moments ago, don't sleep on Musso or the Wildcats. They trail by just a touchdown now. A Big Ten team is like Northwestern being big, but a little bit on the slow side. That's not necessarily the case. Loose ball of the 20. Tennessee picks it up. And that same thing happened. Now, John, you can hear the gang that has traveled from Evanston, Illinois. Jay Graham. It's kind of daunting. They're not taking rocks for jocks. I know that. <laughs> These guys are splitting atoms. Fumble. Northwestern takes it back. Flags down. Northwestern has the ball once again in Tennessee territory. 
and they'll tack on some more yardage. Okay, let's see. Let's keep it real. Now, again, this is how that ball. Now, his knees are down. Look where the ball is right now. Does he have control of it? Knees down, ball in his hands. Now it starts to come out. Certainly the referee's ruled it was on its way out. Brian Musso. Flanked out. Grew in motion. This is Darnell Autry. Do you think he's feeling okay? Do you think he's feeling okay? He's feeling a lot better right now. 28 yards on the run. And another Northwestern touchdown. Just like that. Northwestern has scored back with three consecutive scores. A scoring orgy of sorts by Northwestern. Fielded at the 13. Brought down at the 33. Four receivers out for the Volunteers. 2.19 to play in the half. Manning to pass. Is it complete? No, he picked it up off the grass. That's why we have you down there, Dean, <laughs> to figure out things like that for us. On the blitz, Northwestern bringing it. Picked up. And you know what? Joey Kent has got quick. He's going to cut it back. Joey Kent turns the blitz into a Tennessee touchdown. 67 yards, and Peyton Manning picked it up and delivered it. Yeah, Peyton Manning, there he is with Collier right there. The Volunteers regaining, recapturing the lead at 28 to 21 with 150 to play. David Beasley and Josh Barnes standing at the 15. This will be Beasley. Beasley, Beasley almost got through that initial wave of tacklers at Skyline of Orlando. Darnell Autry. 8.4 degree temperature now. Florida Citrus Bowl committee and the sponsors have treated us extremely well. Top USA people pass incomplete. And with one loss in the Big Ten, they're co-champions along with Ohio State. Third and nine. Schnur had a little too much on that. It was a wildcat. There is Burton. Gets off a better punt this time. Drilling it back to the 15. And Fair runs out of bounds, stopping the clock with 1.11 to play. Graham Malone back, four receivers out on first and 10. Manning checking, movement up front, flags down. First down and 15 after the penalty. Hand it off. Oh, look at this running, Jay Graham. Pollard and finally brought down. Second and one for Tennessee. Manning to the short side of the field. And it's ruled complete. A lot of offense here in the first 30 minutes. Manning wants more. Finds a seam in the zone. Can't four catches today for 110 yards. Manning on the money again. Complete. Another burst down. The ball in the Northwestern 45. They take the draw complete. Peyton Manning is in rhythm, folks. Tennessee. They are now within field goal range for Hall. Manning gets him a little closer with that completion. He is slicing and dicing that secondary. Collier was hurt on the last play. He comes out of the game for Northwestern. First and ten. Pass broken up nicely. He's human after all. Four receivers on this set. Manning on the post. Incomplete. A oh, hard flag on the play. A chess match between the two coaches as well. Ten seconds to go in the half. Third and ten. Manning into the end zone. Flag down. Incomplete. This definitely puts Tennessee in a situation where they either have to kick a field goal or go for it now. All ten of 18 on the season. Out of the hold of Jason Price. And he knocks it between the steel. So the Volunteers take a 10-point lead into the locker room at halftime. A lot of points on the board in the first 30 minutes. More to come in the next 30. We'll return with more action between Tennessee and Northwestern after this match. Kicking to Josh Barnes and Dave Beasley. Beasley 
at the 15. Weaving his way out to the 28-yard line. That, that means a difference in keeping the team sharp. Autry, his first carry on their first play, brought down at the 28-yard line. Second down and nine. Musso in motion, intended for Musso, and it's dropped at the 34. Northwestern facing third down and nine. On their opening possession of the second half, Schnur under pressure and picked off. And Tennessee is going to take it into score. Tyrone Hines. An inauspicious beginning here in the second half for Northwestern. They throw a pick for a touchdown on the first possession. It's 38 to 21. Schnur figuring out what hit him. Jeff Hall, number four, kicking to David Beasley and Josh Barnes. Beasley, eight yards deep. The Northwestern comes out, tries to do it again. McGrew in motion, play fake on the waggle. Schnur bounce passes one out to the 30, incomplete. He's do a little positioning with the product right here and puts it in the arms of Brian Musso to return to action. Good story. Great to see. Third down and eight for the Wildcats. Tennessee blitzing off the corner. It's complete. Out to the 28-yard line. Great play by Hines. And he drove on Stewart, too. Putting a nice hit on him. Burton with a great punt back to the 25. Terry Fair gains about six yards on the return. The red zone to the green zone. 38 to 21, Tennessee with the lead. Oh, Manning threw the out pattern a little early. For Northwestern coming on the blitz. Manning found his receiver, but it was incomplete and dropped by Joey Kent. Smaley, the other corner suspended, the starter suspended because of drug use. This pass incomplete at the 45. That's Brian Musso. He has three punts returned for touchdowns in his career. This won't be one of them because Binion shanks it. 12.34 to play in the third quarter. Schnur picked off earlier in this quarter for a touchdown. Darnell Autry moving his way across midfield. Musso in motion. It's Musso underneath, and he gets crunched at the 45-yard line. A trail 38-21 to with nearly 11 minutes to play in the third period. Blitz coming by Tennessee. Schnur gets it off to Bates. Complete at the 37-yard line. Autry in motion. Like Bates. a throw here. He's a former quarterback. They throw it back. Oh. And it's almost picked off a flag on the play. Look downfield. And, of course, it's ineligible receiver because he hit Brian Cardos. His... After that, it's second and 15. Schnur completes it. Down to the 32-yard line, that's Beasley. Three receiver set on third and five. Schnur going for Musso, who makes the grab. Complete, and now incomplete at the 12. But again, Northwestern's going to go for it on fourth down, Mark. Fourth and five, they already did it once today. Schnur has time, completes it at the 25, and a first down. Schnur can't see him, he's only six feet tall. Finally sees him and delivers it for a first down. It's Musso again, and he fumbles it. He put it on the ground, and Tennessee has the ball. Al Wilson, number 27, pounces on the loose pill. 9.07 to play in the third quarter. Manning hands off to his tailback, Graham. Yeah, he's either trying to influence the officials or he's trying to drum up excitement for the football game. Not that the game needed any extra hype. Here's Graham again. Providing some hype on a nice run. Flag down. Graham down at the 23-yard line. Rampage he's gone on in terms of talking about the hits. I mean, you know, looking like a true tight end who's had one or two. Second down and 14. Out of the end zone, Manning complete to Eric Lane. He's piled up at the 12-yard line. Wisconsin, Penn State, and Iowa. 
Third and seven for Peyton Manning in Tennessee. Pumps once, completes the pass. It's like you keep telling me, tight ends are the best athletes on the field. Yeah, right? put them anywhere. That's right. They'll help you. Here's Graham. Lunging forward. Came out of Texas Tech. And is doing such a great job. A little bit undersized, but he makes up for it in what he knows about football. Second and eight. Manning a strike at the 39-yard line to Joey King. Manning, 20 of 29 so far. Six and a half minutes to play in the period. Manning complete out of the backfield. Graham lunges forward and has the first down at midfield. That kind of pass right there can do an awful lot for an offense. You can see a lot when you're 6'5", and to put it on the ground. Who's got it? Northwestern does. The Volunteers give it back. Gary Barnett tells us that uh, of his 21 scholarships available this year, 18 are already committed. More on that after this play. All right, Dean Schnur back to pass on first and 10. Bates complete as forward progress marks right near midfield. And when you draw 105 plus, that's a lot of revenue. There's a lot of weight rooms that way. This is Darnell Autry. It'll get some free food during a <laughs> tailgate party. And I'll be there. <laughs> Third and one, Autry. Little food for thought on the first down. I don't know if he can improve on that standing all that much by playing another year. Here he is on the counter. And he is stopped up at the 40-yard line. And he has a personal message from his mom, Annie Ruth Hines. It says, do what you know you can do. And he's doing it well. Schnur complete to Bates over the middle of the 36-yard line. Under 332 to play. Tennessee jumped out to a 21-0 lead before Northwestern came back to tie. And Steve Schnur is going to have the first down scampering out of bounds. The Ohio State and Arizona State. Schnur has time to throw. And it may have been batted near the line of scrimmage. You can't have any kind of pass interference. Barnett gave him the start after that point. Try the snap. Full start. Number five on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still second down. This team penalized 12 times for 113 yards. Schnur backing up and brought down the third sack of the day for the Tennessee Volunteer defense. Third down and 29 to go. They've got to get to the 14 yard line. Schnur drills it over the middle. Perfect. No flag on the play. And he hangs it up. Bounces at the 8, but comes back out. Takes a Tennessee bounce out to the 12. Let's now let's get back to Mark. All right, thanks a lot, guys. And enjoy your Cajun food down there. I know you will. This pass incomplete. Intended for peerless price. This is Jay Graham out to the 20-yard line. They run it, and they won't have the first down. Stuffed up nicely. And stop in Tennessee. Uso back at the 33. Uso. Brought down, 80 seconds, seconds to play in the third period. Autry out to the 43-yard line. And that'll be the last play of the third quarter. 50 minutes to go. We'll return with more action between Tennessee and Northwestern after this message and a word from our ABC station. Second and four for Northwestern. Musso complete. Hangs on to it this time. Let's go downstairs to Dean Blevins. And so far, the understudies on the defensive front doing pretty well. Schnur going up top. He got hit as he released it, and he's picked up. Terry Fair with another pinch. For that adversity. Maybe one of those relaxation techniques. Yeah, that could be it. Well, if that's the case. All right, thanks. And uh, he's trying to get a little few more votes for Tennessee. <laughs> All right, and here's Graham. Candidate for offensive MVP today. Arizona State, number two, will be coming up next from Pasadena in the Rose Bowl against Ohio State.
That's Eric Lane getting about two yards, yeah, running off tackle. Hard to turn things around and created some turnovers. They need some more here today. Few turnover, but Manning isn't going to give it up. Complete to Peerless Price. Manning going the distance, a quarterback. A sidestep in the line of scrimmage. Backs out of the eye. With 11.58 to play in the fourth quarter. Mark Levine, the backup tailback to Jay Graham. I think that happens with everybody, even a superhuman, right? Yeah. <laughs> and this is Levine. Out to the 40-yard line. The former offensive coordinator of Tennessee, presently the head coach. Little waggle action, and the pass is dropped by John Sartell. Got a lot on the ball. Third down and six. Manning audibling at the line. Northwestern blitzing. Manning eludes the rush and fires a dart complete down to the 25-yard line. Nash making the catch. Manning 24 of 35, 373 yards. And he added some more to the total if it stands. Flags down on the play. That might be the call right there. Three years ago, for Goad attending Ole Miss, his father's alma mater, attending Tennessee instead. They give us to Levine. I learned about the West Indian culture and some of the clashes there. That was a great conversation. What a wonderful lady. Second down and nine. And a wonderful quarterback and wonderful receiver combination. Manning to Nash. Out of bounds at the seven yard line. As Manning is thrown for 390 yards. With the meter still running. This is Levine, the backup tailback in the game now for Jay Graham. Arizona State undefeated on the season. Chance for the national championship for them. Here's Manning. Brought down at the 12 yard line by Joe Reed. Four receivers, trips left for Tennessee. Levine, the single back. Northwestern blitz on the timing pattern into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for double eight. Andy McCullough. Jeff Hall attempting this field goal from 28 yards out. He's already made one today from 19. And he drills that one through two. Tennessee now leads 41 to 21. It's been all orange today. We'll be right back. Northwestern searching for a miracle here. Beasley at the goal line. Stopped in his tracks at the 24-yard line. I don't know, Brent. I like the good big man. <laughs> <laughs> and this one almost picked up. And, and, you know, equally well, sometimes you get great tackles. You run block real well. They get a lot of publicity. He passed blocks as well as anybody that's ever played college football. That's been Tennessee ever since. Third and eight. Autry out of the backfield, complete. Fourth and two, John. They're going for it on fourth down. No choice, actually. They've converted twice in fourth down situations and make that three for three. A quick slant at the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl. I'll explain after this play. The pass incomplete out of the backfield. There's some sort of... These guys want to win at anything and everything. Schnurr going downtown for Bates. And he overthrows his receiver at the 20-yard line, incomplete. 5.20 to play. Tennessee leading by 20. Schnurr passes for Musso, about a yard short. Imagine that. Third and three. Musso out on the pattern. Schnurr looking for him. And it's Musso time, complete, for the first down at the 43. But I hope he has a few more of those coming. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I thought I was done seeing Peyton throw. I thought I was done watching Manning's uh, field air with the touchdown. <laughs> and we should say, Scott, your other son is on scholarship he's as well. He's out there. He's doing a good job. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you. <laughs> right. Here's Autry. First and ten. Bates. Touchdown, Northwestern. Dwayne Bates, 22 yards on the strike. 
knocks it through, and now they trail by 13. Hey, if you've seen their game against Wisconsin or against Michigan, you know what can happen with Northwestern. Stick around. We'll be right back. Oh, they fake it with a different kicker. It hit a Northwestern player. And it won't matter if Northwestern recovers. Oh, my goodness. Not Rick. sure. But I have never seen that wrinkle on an onside kick. <laughs> it might have had somebody offsides, though. Tenure. Encroachment by the kicking team. That penalty is declined. We have illegal touching by the kicking team. So the ball be put in play where the ball was illegally touched. First down. Illegal touch, and Tennessee has the football. Manning, quick three-step drop, fires a strike to Price. Fearless Price getting the first down for the Volunteers. Great facility out there. Have to get a chance to see it if you're down in the neighborhood. Here's Levine. He's still on his feet, covering up the ball. Down to the 15-yard line. John and uh, Archie is in the house somewhere. No banner here for Archie. No. Well, you know... 3.15 to play in the fourth quarter. Levine, Levine again, gaining about three yards. Fitzgerald, Peyton Manning, from opening snap until now. Selling the flake on the waggle. Touchdown, Moore. Moore, Moore, Moore. Show me the money. Touchdown, Tennessee. For that man right there, Peyton Manning. In Incredible. Simply amazing. That ties a Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl record. Four touchdowns. Hall with the extra point. We'll be right back. You hear they're chanting? One more year. <laughs> one more year. Not four more years. It's not a presidential election. They just want one more. The Tennessee fans are on their feet chanting that in the corner of the end zone. This is Beasley. Out to the 31-yard line. He was in a quarterback. And you know, and Peyton Manning, for that matter. He, it was kind of a hectic week for him. People all around him, as you mentioned. And I don't know if he was really enjoying himself all that much. Mark, he got the sense that it was just a state man, some other names. Maybe a little less familiar. It's got a storied history, but now it's the top USA Florida Citrus Bowl. And you're right, it could be the Cop USA Florida Citrus Tennessee Bowl. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Pass down the middle of the field, incomplete, intended for Burden. The coordinating producer of it, the ever efficient Kevin Miller and Dale T. Ball. Never doubt them. Our stat man, Roger Riley, and our 40 seconds to play in this, another edition of the Cop USA Florida Citrus Bowl. A lot of points put on the board. And they're still airing it out. Musso brought down at the 45-yard line. Done such a great job as the head coach at Northwestern. Let me ask you one thing real quick, John. Who do you like in the game coming up? Ohio State or Arizona State? I like Arizona State. Gary Barnett says that stress makes you grow. They face some stress, and here's more stress for him. The pick, Gerald Griffin. And he wants to get a little more. Getting his little interception swerve on. That's their job. And he's giving Mike a piece of his mind on how to play that last play. And this <laughs> will be the last play of the game. 48-28 is the final. Tennessee over Northwestern. Peyton Manning, was this his last collegiate game? Well, tune in in nine months, folks, in September.